guys and welcome back to another train simulator video in today's video we're going to be driving the class 387 in the great northern livery from a service from i believe lich world lechworth to london king's cross a nice opening cinematic so we're driving the 1r41 lechworth to london king's cross we've just taken over from another driver due to sickness remember you will be calling at Stephen age Lebworth, I think that's how you say it. Finsbury Park and London King's Cross. Let's raise the pantograph and release the doors. Then depart on time. Okay then. Let's open the doors. Let's put the pantograph on. Point forward. Yeah, this game is so glitchy. Like, I was pressing the Q button, but it, nothing happened. What's this? That's the door open button. What are we driving? Four car trains, so that's fine. Let's on some lights. So yeah, the Great Northern Class 387. This is one of the reskins that you can get from Super Alps. Oh, let's on the lights. A class 365 passing by. Let's take some screenshots. So why not? We do need a good funnel anyway. Another one. I think it's morning time I believe. Yeah, it's 6.17 in the morning. So it's quite dark still. We're starting off at Hitchin. And we'll be doing a stopping service all the way to... Well, I think a semi-fast service to King's Cross. So we've got Hitchin, Stephen H, Nebworth, Finsbury Park, and London King's Cross. Let's watch the train depart on exterior view. We should depart any time. Stand clear of the doors. And let's go. Don't worry guys, I will be buying sound packs for all the trains I own when Armstrong Powerhouse do have a sale on. Which should be the Christmas sale, so yeah. I know you guys want me to buy the sound pack, but I'm just waiting for them to go on sale. And I can buy them all at once. But I know the sound packs are really good and make the, the trains sound better. Speed limit 70 miles an hour. 4 miles to Stevenage. I believe this is the class 375, but with obviously the Great Northern livery. And I believe the class 375 is also used for the Fames Link class 387 livery as well. And the Gebbik, Gebbik Express class 387. Don't speed. So yeah, Great Northern. I believe Great Northern run on this line now. I think before it used to be First Capital Connect, and now it's Great Northern. I don't know too much about this route, so correct me if I'm wrong. Is that a yellow signal? No, it's green. The sky looks red for some reason, I don't know why. That's so weird, look at that. Holy shit. That looks... I wouldn't want to be outside if I saw that in the sky. That's for sure. Stone speed. I wish this route had announcements actually, that would be really cool, like on the west coast mainline Shen Valley route. The next station is Steven H, that would be really cool. But what can you do? Maybe when Train Simul comes out, the routes they make for that route will all have announcements hopefully. They should be able to do it anyway, so... A 
mile and a half to Stevenage. The brakes on the train are pretty good, so we shouldn't have too much problem with. ETH 622, I believe we're a bit early. Class 801, Hitachi, very nice. I believe uh, on the Great Western Main Line. They have the class 81s as well in the GWR livery. I believe they're replacing the HSTs, which is in interesting. I'm not a big fan of HSTs to be honest with you. The class 81 looks a lot nice in my opinion. The livery is okay. I'm not a fan of dark green as a color, so but it looks alright. Okay, we should slow down actually soon. Heading on to Stephen Age Platform One. Yeah, the brakes are really good on this train, so that's why I'm leaving it quite late. Okay, well, let's slow down now. I'm only driving a full car trade anyway, so... Perfectly on time. Just a few seconds late. Open the doors. Oh, this should be a good screenshot. Nice lighting. There we go. This station has really good lighting in my opinion, look at that, it's so bright, like some stations are really dark and other stations are really bright, which is weird. And those stairs are pretty good actually. Guys, so red. I have a car park. These cars look so realistic. I think this looks like a Ford, I think. This one looks like a Golf, I think, maybe. Like, look at those graphics, guys. Top notch. What does it say on here? Fast 2 5 HM, 68 minutes from St. Pancras. I would love to go on one of these trains one day. Steven H, we're about to depart. Sand clear of the doors. Let's get going. 2.51 miles away from Nebworth. I think that's how you say it. I'm probably saying it wrong anyway. Would it be nice if we were driving a longer car train, maybe an 8 car to 12 car train? Anyways. I'm glad someone made a scenario with this livery. But I've never driven a train that has, has the Great Northern livery on it. So this is a first for me. Pretty good livery in my opinion. High quality. I never seen a green Northern in a class three sound anyway, so I wouldn't really know if it's accurate or not. We're approaching Nebworth. ETA six twenty seven. The next one is Finsbury Park, which is twenty four miles away. Wow. And then King's Cross, 26 miles away. We have a bit of a journey after this station. Hopefully we can travel at, I think the speed limit on this line is 100 and... It can go to up 
up to 125 miles an hour, I believe. But I think this train is limited to 110 miles an hour. Close this if you want. Yeah, let's close that. Why not? I believe we can open windows. There we go. Let's start slowing down now. Traveling a bit too fast, in my opinion. And we are really early anyway. This guy looks happy to be on my train. Let's see if he got, comes in. Yes, he will. So, yeah, we are in Nebworth. However, you say it. Decent station lighting. We can take another, we can take another screenshot. Even though they're parked, the lights are on. Whereas these cars have the lights off, which is a bit weird. Please do not leave bags unattended. These are having a chat. He's busy looking at his time. And she's busy drinking her coffee. Which is no surprise because it is 6.27 in the morning. Okay, we're about to depart. Mind the doors. Let's go. It's pretty similar to the Fames Link livery, but obviously it says Green Oven instead. speed up now hopefully the speed limit will go up to like at least 100 miles an hour or something like that twenty two miles left yeah the speed limit is going up to 115 miles an hour we should be able to do that I think even though the class 3 sound is limited to 110 miles an hour in real life in game you can go a little bit faster than that still pretty dark outside I believe we will be going onto the fast line. Okay, speed limit's gone up now, so we can just go full speed now. Are we going? Are we going over a bridge? I think we are. Kind of. Okay, we're going in the tunnel now. Yeah, we shouldn't take too long to reach Finsbury Park. Only 20 miles away. Hopefully green signals all the way.
passing on the station. What, what station is this? No idea, we're going too fast. Just, oh, that's a nice angle. There we go. Hundred and ten miles an hour almost. There we go. Let's see if this train can go faster than hundred and ten miles an hour. It should be able to. We are playing this we are driving this train in the game and not in real life. He is struggling though, that's for sure. Okay, maybe it is limited to hundred and ten miles an hour. That kinda sucks. That might be Walm Garden City, I think. Maybe. It looks like Walm Garden City station. Let me guys, let me show you guys the passenger view. So yeah, here's the passenger view. It's not that much difference. I think it's just these poles which are different color. And yeah, the chairs are same. Table is same, yeah. Obviously, the person who made this um, reskin did it for free, so obviously he's doing it in his free time and all that, so you can't really expect him to like change the passenger view that much, if he wants to, that is. There's a blurry picture which you see in all the electro style trains. We're actually getting really good FPS now. We're literally getting 70 FPS, which is quite crazy. That's the most FPS I've got on, on this game. And I haven't really turned down the settings too much, so yeah. It's pretty good. I'm guessing once we get to Finsbury Park and King's Cross, the FPS will drop, obviously, because the scenery will be a lot more dense. What station is this? No idea. So yeah, this train is limited to 110 miles an hour, which is okay, I guess. 15 miles away from Finsbury Park. We can open this window as well. So yeah guys, um, let me know in the comments below what video you guys want to see next. If you have any suggestions, then let me know. And I'll look at it. And see what I can do. Like, if you guys want to tell me, like, a specific route you want me to drive on, or a specific train, then... Just tell me that and then I can find a scenario for that. Passing another station. No idea what that is. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with this line to be honest with you. Obviously I know stations like Peterborough and King's Cross, Finsbury Park, Stevenage, the main stations, but the stations in between I don't actually know. Okay, speed limit is going down. Let's slow down. Almost 10 miles away from Finsbury Park. It's 
slow down a bit too much actually. Might be changing tracks, maybe. We'll see. Another tunnel. They really need to put some lights in this in this tunnel. To be honest with you, I can't see nothing. You know. Like if I turn the lights off now, like it's literally all dark. Only the obviously the cab is lit up. Well, some of it actually. Heading into another tunnel. It's quite a lot of tunnels on this route actually. Let's actually watch the train pass by the station. There we go. Look how fast that's going. What station is this? Hadleywood. We should be on time or maybe a bit early actually. I think there will be a speed a low speed soon maybe like 60 miles an hour or something so I believe we're on the fast line maybe, I think um, maybe that these two lines next to us is the fast line and we're on a slow line I'm not too sure now I think the middle two are the fast lines and the outer ones is the one for stopping services. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far. Okay, we need to slow down now. 95 limit. Four miles away from Finsbury Park. So yeah, we're gonna be stopping at Finsbury Park and then the last station will be King's Cross, which is only like two miles after Finsbury Park. A pretty decent scenario in my opinion. I like the train that we're driving, I like the livery. And I like the fact that we're stopping at a few stations and not doing our express service. For driving from point A and to from point A to B is quite boring sometimes because I prefer stopping services in my opinion. They're much like more interesting and you're a lot more focused because I can just like Put the train into forward and just drive from point A to B and like not really have to worry about anything unless there's a speed changes quite often or any signals ahead of us. What does that say? Bound green service delivery I think. 
This must be Bong Green's station then, I'm guessing. Yeah, we're pretty early actually. We are really early. Two miles away and ETA is 46 and only 41. Yeah, I'm actually going to slow down now and just coast in to the station. Like, I don't want to be waiting like four or five minutes at Finsbury Park. There's some 365s there. Very nice. What's that? HST? Oh, that's very nice. HST in the Great Grand Central livery, I believe. That is really nice. That is one of the reasons that you do have to download to play the scenario. You don't have to, but if you want to see it. Let's actually take a screenshot. There we go. I think it's stopping at Finsbury Park as well, which is really nice. On the other platform. He's stopping at this station. What station is this? Let me check. Haringey. Okay then. Oops. What happened there? I think we pass a red red signal. I think this train is going in front of us, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Actually let's just go. I should really be paying attention instead of trying to take a screenshot. Now we can take a screenshot, hopefully. As long as it doesn't start speeding up. Ah, oh, this train's so long, man. Come on, I want a nice screenshot. There we go. Almost. There we go. Perfect. Now we can just coast into Finsbury Park Station. It's nice to see two trains going into the s in the same direction. Normally it's like one in one direction and another one in the other one. So yeah, we're approaching Finsbury Park Station. Pretty long platform. We are pretty early anyway, so let's just coast in. ETA 46, wow. Even with the emergency brake, like, we're like two minutes early still. Okay, let's slow down now. That's the forecast stop, which we missed. Good driving from me. That's okay though. Okay, let's open the doors. There we go. Let's go and check out this HSD. I think this is... Well, there are passengers inside, so I'm guessing it's going to King's Cross on a fast service. 
even though it's not going very fast at the moment. But yeah, very nice livery. Grand Central. Now somebody did make that livery actually. It's not the one you don't get that livery when you buy the class 180. So that they did a pretty good job. There's the streets. So I have been to Finsbury Park Station before and it, it does look like this. I believe the station entrance is here. Nope, where is it? I think it's here, yeah. It should be here. I think this, yeah, this is the f entrance, I believe. Or is it the other side? I'm not too sure. It should be somewhere. Yeah, I believe it's there anyway. It's not absolutely accurate, but what do you expect? They can't make it exactly like it is in real life. And it's close enough, I guess. Okay, let's go, guys. Next station, King's Cross, 2.44 miles away. There is no ETA for King's Cross, so that's good. Hopefully we can go there as quickly as possible. At least the sky is not red anymore, it's purple. Speed limit 65, okay that's fine. I believe that's a 365, we can take a screenshot. Quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go, just in time. Probably on a fast service to somewhere, no idea where. So speed limit is going down to 60 miles an hour, then 35 miles an hour, then going back up to 45 miles an hour, then 15 miles an hour, yeah. Ooh, is that, is that the same HS, HSC we saw? I think it is. I think it's just waiting for the signal, I'm guessing. Okay, let's slow down now, we, we are going downhill. Slowing on a bit too much. But yeah, it is a downhill spiral all the way to King's Cross, which is interesting. So we do need to be careful about the speed limit. I wish it was uphill because it's easy to control. Now I have to keep on slowing down because obviously this train will speed up. As you can see. Changing tracks. What's that? A yellow signal? Okay, that's fine. As long as it's not a red signal, I'm happy. We might have a red signal after this. I should need to slow down. Shit. Slow down quite a lot. There we go. We haven't speeded in this scenario yet, so I don't want to do it at the last minute. Okay, we don't have a red signal. Just check in there. Okay, there we go. Slow down. I literally have to keep on braking every like couple of seconds. Because obviously we're going downhill. Any trains in St. Pancras? Nope, I see no trains at all, which is kind of disappointing. 
Okay, there's one. Class 365. And another Class 365 there. Okay, that's good. It would have been nice if there was more AI, AI in this scenario, but that's okay. I think there are Class 91s in this scenario, but I, I don't actually own a Class 91, so... That's why you're not seeing any. I do plan on buying that soon. Maybe in a Christmas sale. So yeah guys, King's Cross Platform 8. London King's Cross. Let's go right to the end of the platform. Pretty big station as you can as you guys know anyway. So many platforms, man. I haven't been to this King's Cross station. I have been to St. Pancras International. Okay, then. I don't know why the emergency brake kicked in, but I guess it doesn't want me to go right to the end of the platform, so yeah. Let's open the doors and yeah. Let the passengers off. It's a nice screenshot. There we go. Yeah, that should be the end of the scenario. Well done, you have completed the scenario successfully. Thank you very much. I'll give it a thumbs up. I use the horn improper use of horn four times and penalty break which wasn't my fault anyway so yeah that's the end of the scenario guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did give it a like share it with your friends and i'll see you in my next video bye